Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to the Awesome Possum Classroom. Today, we will be reading a nonfiction story called All About Spiders. This story's skill is what is fiction and what is nonfiction. All About Spiders. Let's take a moment to think about what we know about spiders. Activating our knowledge about spiders will help us better understand the story. Look at the spider's body. What do you notice about the spider's body? How many legs does the spider have? All About Spiders is written by Russ Bayak. There are many kinds of spiders. Look at the three different spiders, boys and girls. Notice how they're the same and notice how they are different. A spider has eight legs. It eats bugs. What bug is this spider eating, boys and girls? It looks like a wasp or a bee. What other bugs might a spider eat? A spider has eight legs. It can climb. A spider has eight legs. It can make silk. If we look at this spider, boys and girls, it is spinning a web, a spider web. The web is made of silk. A spider has eight legs. It has many eyes. Let's count how many eyes this spider has. One, two, three, four, five, six. This spider has six eyes. Why do you think a spider needs six eyes? Do you think that spiders might have more than six eyes? What do you notice that's growing all over the spider's body? Looks like fur, doesn't it? A spider has eight legs. It lays eggs. Look at all of the eggs this colorful spider has laid. A spider has eight legs. It can live outside. Looks like this spider is on a flower. It can live inside too. Look at that spider, boys and girls. Where is it at? You're right, it's in the bathroom at someone's home. That's the end of our story, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, let's take a look at what is fiction and what is nonfiction material? What is fiction? Well, fiction are stories that are not real. They're made up. You read these stories to enjoy. You have to read fiction stories in order. You can't skip around the book. There are illustrations with fiction stories, and there is a beginning, a middle, and an end. In fiction stories, there are characters and settings. There also is a problem and a solution. We just read a story that is nonfiction. That means the story is real. It's made of facts. It's written so that you can learn something and you can read it in any order. There are photographs, charts, and graphs in nonfiction stories and the information is true. We can prove it, boys and girls. Let's reread two pages of the story and locate elements of nonfiction. Remember, nonfiction is real, 
It's made of facts. It's written to learn. We read it in any order. Nonfiction uses photographs, charts, and graphs. And nonfiction is true information. We can prove the information, boys and girls. It says, a spider has eight legs. It has many eyes. A spider has eight legs. It eats bugs. Is this information real, boys and girls? Absolutely, it's real. It's made of facts. We can prove that spider has eight legs, and we can prove that spiders have many eyes just by looking at this picture. Can we read this in any order? Can we read a spider has eight legs, it has many eyes? Or could we read first, a spider has eight legs, it eat bugs? Does it matter if we read it eats bugs before it has many eyes? No, it doesn't matter. If we were reading a fiction story, we have to read the story in order. But nonfiction stories, you can just skip around a book and pick pages that you like and read, and you're really not going to miss anything unless you don't read something. Nonfiction uses photos, and here we have photos. In this nonfiction story, boys and girls, we don't have charts or graphs. And this is true information. It's made of facts. We can prove that a spider has eight legs, many eyes, and it eats bugs. On the basis of what you learned from the story, what are some places you might find spiders? Where did it say spiders lived? They lived where, boys and girls? They lived outside and inside. So where are some places outside you might find spiders? You might find spiders in a tree. You might find spiders in the grass. You might find spiders on your house. What about inside? Could you find a spider on your window, inside your house, or on your curtains? How are spiders in the story alike, and how are they different? What was something the author wrote on each page? Spiders have eight legs, exactly. Every spider has eight legs. That's how they're alike. What was something that we noticed about spiders, boys and girls? We noticed that the spiders looked different. Some spiders were very colorful, and some spiders were brown and black. Why might a spider need eight legs? Think about that. Think about the size of a spider. Why might a spider need eight legs? What could those eight legs help a spider do? Well, it could help a spider get away from a predator very quickly, couldn't it? Which spider do you like best? and why. Well, you think about that. Go back into the story and see which spider you liked best and explain why you liked that spider the best. Let's answer some question, boys and girls. Why did the author write this book? Was it to entertain you? Was it to inform you, to give you information? Or was it to persuade you to try to get you to do something? Entertain, to make you laugh, or inform you, to give you information, or persuade you, to try to get you to do something? If you answered B, you are absolutely correct.
The author wrote this story to inform you, give you information about spiders. The author wanted you to learn something about spiders. Number two, what is a detail from the book about spiders? A spider, spiders frighten people? Did it talk about spiders frightening people? I don't even remember that being said in the story, so that cannot be the answer. Spiders have eight legs. We kept saying that over and over again. Or all spiders live outside. Well, we know that's not true because the story said spiders live inside and outside. So the answer must be B. Spiders have eight legs. That's a detail from the book. Number three, what is a fact about spiders? Remember, a fact is something that is true. We can prove it. Spiders have two eyes. Is that true, boys and girls? How many eyes did we count on that spider? We counted six, so we know this one can't be true. Spiders eat bugs. Did we see a spider eat a bug? All spiders are the same. Are all spiders the same? No, we saw spiders that were different shapes and different colors. We did see that spiders eat bugs, so the answer must be B. Let's look at number four. The author probably thinks spiders are interesting, scary, or boring. What do you think? I don't think an author would write a story if the if the content or ma the material was boring. And there wasn't really anything scary about the story, so I'm going to say that the author probably thinks that spiders are interesting. Number five. Listen to this sentence. Spiders can make silk. What is silk? Is it food? Is it a kind of home? Or is it strong threads? Think about the picture of the spider making the web. Was that the spider's home or its food? Well, it's definitely was it the spider's food because the spiders don't eat silk. Spiders eat bugs. So was it their home or was it a strong thread? The answer is C, strong thread. Well, that's the end of our story today, boys and girls. Thank you for reading along and come back another day for a new story from the Awesome Possum Classroom. Have a great day. Bye-bye.